Hey friend, and welcome back to day four of our gratitude challenge. Can you believe we're over halfway already? So did you reignite a friendship yesterday? I would love to hear. And today we're going to focus on our field of work. Let me start with a quote. Be grateful for what you have. Work hard for what you don't have. Stop complaining and start working. Now, we all spend eight hours a day doing something, right? Either you're working for someone else, you're your own boss, babe, or you're at home raising babies. Whatever it is that you're choosing to spend what your eight plus hours a day to do, that is your work. And it's very easy though to complain, right? It's very easy to look at what we're doing and not be so happy with it. But the best way to appreciate it is to imagine yourself without it. Or maybe think about this. Remember when you prayed to God for that job and he gave you the answer to your prayers? Hmm, might make you think twice before you complain, right? So choose instead to see the blessings and the opportunities of the work that you have to do. Maybe it's not just because of you. Maybe it's for somebody else and there's a, that, that's the purpose that you are there. But the beautiful thing about work too is that it's, you're not stuck doing the same thing for the rest of your life. You can change. You can choose to decide to go work for someone else. You can choose to start your own thing or you can choose to stay home. The part that what really matters is that you are investing in what matters to you and is really going to be using the gifts and the skills that you have. So here's our daily challenge. I want you to write down five things that you're thankful for about the work that you have. And then I want you to share it with your boss, your team, your spouse, a friend, right? Someone that you work with or would be somehow directly connected to that. I think that's going to inspire and bless them as well. And while you're talking to them, you can certainly invite them to join our challenge. Just tell them to go to lissafiggins.com forward slash gratitude, and we'll make sure that they get caught up to speed. And when you come back tomorrow, we're going to be talking about having gratitude for your finances, no matter how much you have.